So yeah, we're gonna make a mob spawner super fast. And so I think I'm gonna make it in the swamp because I don't really like the swamp biome too much. And I'm okay covering it in a lot of lava. Or a lot of cobblestone. <laughs> but um, one thing you wanna make sure when you're choosing a spot is that it's within the zone of 24 blocks and 128 blocks away from where you're usually going to be because that's where the mobs can spawn so I think I'm going to be over here so about maybe like I'll probably build it like 50 blocks out from there and that should be good if you really want maximum efficiency you want to build it super high up in the sky so that there's no mobs spawner, spawning underneath in the caves I just don't really care that much so I'm going to build it just on the, the ground right here and maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll fill in the caves later if I really want to with torches. But yeah, let's get started. So you're up here on your tower, first you put your first lava bucket down, and you wait for it to pour over the edge one block, and then immediately once it lowers like that you put down the water. I'll do that again. But now that you've done that once, you want to jump up, put a block there, and then cut out another block like that, put another lava bucket down, and then wait for it to go over the outer edge and fall down one, and then you wait for this to go down, and then you put a lot, or tsh, not one. <laughs> and you just kind of keep doing the same process. Alrighty, so I finished that. Um, pouring over thing, uh, it kind of turned out not too great, <laughs> but um, I mean this will work still. So I'll show you up there. Anyway, to finish this off, we're gonna let the lava pour down, and we're gonna wait an extra long time till we make sure that it's all the way down there. Um, I'm too afraid to fly off and check because. I think if I try to land up here again, I'm gonna die. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna let this harden up. If you've never seen this kind of thing before, it's called lava casting. Well, it's not, there's no real technical terms maybe in Minecraft, but uh, that's what everyone calls it. <laughs> and uh, if you ever go on like some of the really old servers, like 2v2t, um, You'll see this to an extreme level. <laughs> like they've uh, destroyed the worlds with lava casting. Just made them super ugly. That's the, that's the one thing about this is that it's kind of ugly. But I mean, you can like build onto this and make something kind of cool. I think it could be a base for. Anyway, so I'm just gonna do the classic spawner. Um, layout where you just have a bunch of long straight water things going into the middle so I'm just looking at the shape of this I think I'm going to do a 3x3 three three. So I'm going to do that real quick give you time mm, clay I would like to
Zeug hat er vor. So now I'm gonna remove this a little bit so I can look. And so you can either do two things, one or two things here. You can make a, a pit that's over 21 blocks deep. Um, if you do that, then the mobs falling down won't die. And then you can use a, mel uh, a minecart thing, which I'm gonna show you how to make, if you don't know. Um, to collect whatever drops. But I'm gonna do it a little faster way. Since I have some of this magma block on the, I think the only place to get that. Never mind, not the only place. The Nether is an easy place to get it. You can also get it at the bottom of the ocean. But I'm just gonna get it here. So I'm gonna make it two blocks down from the top. So it looks like I need to mine out this. I'm gonna do two blocks so that the mobs um, can't get out. They'll just sit here and die. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna hold on shift and click on that so that it is facing into that. You see how it's facing in the chest? Oh, you guys probably know that. Anyway, shift, put a rail right there. And then I'm gonna put another thing right there. Okay, so this one right. So yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna make our collector. Is a minecart with a hopper stuck in it. And I'm gonna put this here. And we'll power it up. So that'll collect anything that's falling down on those magma blocks. So now we're almost done. We just have to dig our way back up and I'll I think we oh we also have to take the torches out of the hole we're in. I think this. Then I'm gonna turn on my x-ray vision so we can see if there's any mobs coming in. So I'm gonna be looking at the same view. And my resource packs, turn on my x-ray. Yes, I know it's old, but it's okay. Alright. Um, you can find these x-rays. So you see? Actually, wow. They're already spawning in there. Jeez. Oh, it looks like there's a creeper already going in. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> yep, he's dying. So great, yeah. It's already working. I haven't even made more than one layer, and uh, it's doing so great. It does look like there's some mobs all the way at the top. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Must be some cracks up there or something. Or ledges. But anyway, um, yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, at least, at least it's really easy at the beginning of the game. Maybe later in the game, if you really want a good one, you could, uh, you know, do something more fancy. But it's super fast. Um, but as you can see, like, there's an enderman down there. <laughs> there's like monsters that spawn underneath you. Though, interestingly, I've been looking and under this village there doesn't seem to be anything. So I'm wondering if villages don't have caves underneath them. That's what it's looking like. Either way, um, you can see. There's like some mobs down there, you know? 
there within my range of spawn, so that's pulling down my, my spawn rate for this thing. But if you had that way up high in the sky and you went way up there with it, um, you'd be far enough away. So you just have to go up 128 in the surface, and you won't have any mobs spawning underneath you. Uh, so that's if you really want to like camp it. I was just gonna do this so it's on the side of my base where I'm working, and uh, like whatever, it'll just be idling whenever I'm doing other stuff. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can make one of these. Make my heart heart swell. <laughs>